Hey man, say man, it's the most energetic entertainer, Manny Supreme, back here with another digital interview. One of my good homies, family. I mean, I feel like my mama had him. What's up, what's up? Well said, Mr. Said Seti. Hendrick Seti. What's happening? What's happening? We here, my boy. What's How you happening? Feeling, man? I'm blessed. I can't complain. I mean, you got the frames on, the swag going. I'm just chilling, Let man. me tell you all about Sad, man. Ever since I met him, way back when, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ain't never been a day, I mean, whether it's at the studio, an interview, he don't, like, have it on. Is it, it's, it's really not only your manager, is he a stylist, too? Like, do you have a stylist? Nah, like, what what nah. it is? You got the matching, the... The hat. Shout out my boy Filthy Rico, man. Filthy Giovante, man. You know, Rico oh, Giovante in Atlanta, man. A lot. Of, I ain't gonna lie though. A lot of the drip came from. Uh, I got some drip from Jacksonville, mm -hmm. but most of this stuff be like people in Atlanta, like who got their own clothing brand That's going on, love, or dude. people be mailing and sending me. Yeah. Shit. I place all over mm -hmm. Cali, New York, everywhere. So well said. It's out right now. If you don't know, our very own Hot 107 Eyes DJ Drama. You know, he officiated it. Gangsta Grills mixtape. Talk yes, about sir. you know. We did our research, you know. It says way back when you were sneaking in the studio, yeah. actually. Yeah, I was actually sneaking in the studio through an engineer named David. Crazy. Yeah, I was getting in there any way possible to the point where from sneaking in, writer sessions, to me actually locking in with Willie Joe, to I ain't got to sneak in no more. Crazy. Until I met Drama. So talk about your relationship with Willie Joe. If you don't know, Willie Joe is a head A&R, a generation out of men that puts the plays together. Mandatory. Puts it together. How did that relationship come about? You know, you go ahead and further um, Willie Joe, that came about, of course, I was sneaking in the studio, but by the time Willie Joe heard me, you know, I didn't have to sneak in no more. So um, he's he, he's hearing the music, he's seeing what I can do, and he's not even telling me one day, John, I'm going to walk in the studio. Not 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 so early. Mm -hmm. So it really, really started, even before I was sneaking in the studio, he was coming to this other studio down the street. Pierre had a studio mm -hmm. I was in. Shout I was in Pierre. heavy. Shout out Pierre. He's, he's going crazy too right now. It was me, Bermuda Ye, Chabo, Shark. You know what I'm saying, Jelly. And what year was this? This was 20, I wanna say, man, 18, 19. Okay, so not that, not that 18, long ago. 2018, 2019, or 2020, one of them three. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So at this time, he come over there a couple times and hear me. Video shoot, from video shoot, me, me and OMB PZ, mm -hmm. from that. Then I started, you know, the dough sneaking in, then I got in, and I'm good. And then it went from all that. It's like I can't just let them go. Once I get the deal, once drama trying to rock with me, I get signed. So it's like it's my manager now. Crazy. He managed the whole play, put the whole thing together from the moment I got into Mean Street. Insane. Yeah. So with being with Jen now, with folks like you know, we know Boozy, Jack, that whole you know camaraderie. How is it being one of the you know the biggest labels actually out right now? I mean, yeah. When it comes to festivals and concerts and just overall buzz and glow. Yeah. Drama ain't missed. At all. If I'm lying, let me know. Nah, nah, you ain't lying. How is it working with, you know, just those legends? Man, it make me it makes me feel like a legend. Yeah, and I ain't gonna act like it don't make me feel like it's okay or I got a certain look. Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about certain shit that other artists gotta worry about. Mm -hmm. But I don't let that be an excuse. Yeah. But it do feel good knowing that like the track sheet is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you see what he do. I seen. I wasn't there for the Uzi. I yeah. seen it from as being a fan and outsider. Yeah, yeah. I was there with the Jack. I seen that. So Can't nobody like, tell even, me even nothing. from the beginning, like when Jack was buzzing. I mean, you know, I would say I think what's popping was one of the one of the hits that definitely. Took nah, him that out, is without a shadow of a doubt. That's the hit that got him out of there. When you first started working with Jack, I mean, has he always been the same? How did it get going? Or always. Like, when, when you knew he was gonna blow, it was like, oh my boy. I knew he was gonna. I already knew what it was from the jump. Mm -hmm. Being that drum got him, I already knew like if. He's over here, like he's he got to be one of them, one of the ones. Yeah. But I came in it in my head at first, like I'm here now. Mm -hmm. So I really got to see if he one of the ones. I heard him, and from the moment I heard him, I'm like, oh yeah, I got hooked on. To, I was actually a fan of Jack when I got hooked on to his music. Uh -huh. I'm playing his music, like bro, I'm really a fan. You forget yeah. all that we label partners, like yo, sh your shit raw for real. Yeah, you actually like bump him. Every yeah, day like I'm time. playing him. I'm sending him my favorite tracks every other day, and I just left him the studio with yeah. him. So, like seeing that progression grow and watching that happen, like. It's, just, it's amazing, bro. Cause not and then it'll be right up next. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a, it's a lot of pressure. It's all with it, but Crazy. seeing that happen for Jack makes it a little bit easier for me. For sure, for sure. So talk about work ethic, because I mean, if you guys don't know, me and Sed have done our events at Georgia State with the well said sip and paint. Mm -hmm. He's in the AUC. He's really out here touching his fans and shout yeah. him really joy. You know, I'm gonna shout him every time. You know, every people time. say brick by brick. So Literally. can you explain like the 
not skipping steps part because I feel like at, at Generation now that's a, that's a trait that you guys have. Y'all go step by step Listen, by man, step. It's bad as sometimes you be like, why are we doing this? And why are we ain't moving like them? We like them at the end, you appreciate it. The brick by brick method, step by step that Willie Joe Generation now done curated over there with their artists and just with the method of them doing music, period, is really done something for the music industry. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because anybody who get a gangster grill, you're that. You're out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? It's cool. Verified. Like, it's up to you if it goes like this or that. Mm -hmm. But you gonna have ears and eyes on you for sure. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like, it's real deal or honor. It's it's a crazy method they got. I stick with that method. I, I, it's just it's self-explanatory. It's brick by brick. You can't skip no steps. You are gonna be out of here too quick. Yeah. You skip three, four steps. You know what I'm saying? People finna skip over you mm -hmm. and go to the next exactly. one that actually built the cult following and built. They that's what that's what generation now. Mm -hmm. They gonna build a real cult following for you, like you know, not even for you. You're gonna do it. Yeah. They're just gonna put you in front of the people. You know what I'm saying? It's off your brand. Way quicker. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's up to you to keep that bit moving. But mm -hmm. they brick by brick method has been doing great. It's a wonderful method. It's a lifestyle to really live by. Yeah, for real. So I mean, the rollout for well said. I mean, like I mentioned before, the, the sip and paint. You doing those runs in the AUC? I mean, you was at the BET Awards. Sure. Everything just leading up to it. Well said. Well said. Commercials. Commercials. I mean, you did the thing at full circle. You had yeah. the clothing line. Talk about just how big marketing is when it comes to music. It's everything nowadays. Mm. It's everything. It was. It, marketing was everything. It was supposed to be back in the G two, but now it's like. People attention span so short, you gotta do more of the music. You gotta do the biggest of the biggest just to keep them, uh, you know what I'm saying? Keep them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, marketing is really what is it's everything. Mm -hmm. Without marketing in this game, you know what I'm saying? You, you lost. Exactly. Ain't nobody really for the note about you. Not see about rock with you. Now, now, speaking of rocking with things, the album will said if you don't, if you ain't grabbed it, go grab it right now. Please. Your mama probably jamming it. Your, your uncle. Your auntie cousin, probably your listening sister. to it, cleaning the house. Your homeboy probably copped it and cleaning got it for his sister. <laughs> Try to tell you. Long story short, it's a Gangsta Grills classic. Shout out to Drum, put it together. But one of them songs on there, T-Pain. I mean, it got a star by it. This is one of them ones I was playing the other day in the house and my mama thought it was Teddy Pentecost. Who are you telling? Come on now. Sir. Marvin Gaye. How did how did that collaboration come? How did you meet T-Pain? How did that song just come about? Who produced it? We, we got to know. Uh, Swag Boy. OG, I'm tripping. Uh, OG Parker the Goat. Oh, Swab on the tape like three times. Okay, so, I but like, you know, he signed the Florida boy to my producer. Shout out Swab boy. But OG Shout Parker, out. a legend, my brother, man. We got some. Crazy. Gosh, we got some. Shout out OG some Parker. Man. Cut, boy. But yeah, he produced that beat. Um, it came about. Candy has a real relationship with T Pain. So, T Pain had already heard of me, but couldn't put a face with the name. So, once we got in the studio together, he recorded the verse in front of me, watching him do the verse. Stacked the vocals, mm -hmm. how he went about it was crazy, bro. Seeing a legend work like that in my face, it was crazy, bro. Like, it was a great experience. You know what I'm saying? He taught me something. Yeah. He taught me a lot of things. You know? He got to hit a tape early, too. Fire. You know what I'm saying? He went into shock when he heard it. He was actually like, yes, finally. And I was like, what you mean? He was like, he was like, it sounds, yeah, the music. Mm -hmm. He was like, it sounds, it's, it's different. Because he was like, I thought you was going to get on here on some. Shoot him up, bang, bang, and all that. Yeah. And he's like, man, you're from Florida and you're from Jacksonville. So it's like, mm -hmm. you feel me? We got enough of that. Exactly. Got enough of so that. So talk about how different music is. I say this all the time. Me and we still actually talked about it. For real, had a, had a crazy quote. He said, if you don't like the music that's out here, make your own. Exactly. And I feel like you got your own swag with it because when it's that trap, you got that trap. Rhythm and gangster. Come on. Rhythm and gangster. How did you find that sound? Was it like a specific producer? You locked in, where was it was it a specific studio? Like what was that moment when you was like, that's the sound right there? Orange, it's so distinct. RNG came about when I, I came in the game knowing that, you feel me? Everybody in my city does the shoot 'em up bang bang. Mm -hmm. My brothers and cousins are you know, are in this and, and goes around family, friends. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what? I'm comfortable in my skin. I know my resume. Mm -hmm. I know what I can get out here and rap mm -hmm. and talk about and do that too. I'm gonna go this way. Mm -hmm. All my life I've always been good with women yeah. all my life like I've always niggas always hated on me because of how good I was with women okay so stop right there when you see a girl what what is Sadie Hendrix step-by-step -step process to, to bag a female to be honest I give I act like I don't want her. I give a look and act like I don't want her. so you like yeah I play yeah I play and I just, so look just at smile the smile I hit them with the hey uh, sometimes if I'm really digging you uh, I walk by hey how you doing but I the smile yeah, that's what I gives. lock in that's with them, like hey how you doing and they what you smiling, cheesing, and then boom. Now we got a conversation. You in there, now it's over with. But if it's if if 
step by step. It really ain't. It's just I look at you, smile, and being real play. Yeah, and just. I don't, okay, I don't really okay, okay, okay. Again, okay. you don't even really want me. Ah! You don't really want me. <laughs> hey, we we taking notes, ain't it? We taking notes. We taking notes. We taking notes. Sure. So the whole tape. How long did it take to really be like, okay, these are the ones. These are the exact processes and steps. Did you ask any of your homies like, what you think? Man, I saw my tape, the album come on. I saw myself AK, mm -hmm. Chip, Lanster, Chip. Man, Shout I, out saw, Chip, man. I saw my tape to my, my boy Thug, like RP School. I saw my um, Joe. I was just, man, I wanted, I wanted so much critique on this yeah. tape before it even came out. Mm -hmm. it's, how, Joe, how long, how long it took the drop well said? We, how long it took for the song? It took a year. Took a year. I ain't dropping two years on all digital platforms, by the way. So and this I, was like, I'm back. I'm, yeah, and it really wasn't even that bad, because I never, I never, you never left. left I'm, I'm still a rookie yeah. in this, but I move like yeah. a vet. That's how people, and that's, that's how it felt. That's why the music's so the potent. Branding. That's the branding. Exactly, you feel me? I gave y'all root suit, BHD, say less. I'm finna, y'all gotta, mm -hmm. gotta soak that up. Mm -hmm. I literally low-key gave y'all too much. Yeah. You feel me? So like, yeah, popping back out, it took me about like a, a year to put all them songs together. They been made, been done. Yeah. It just took about a year. Now, shout out to, to Sonny. He just signed. Newest person in generation. Brother. Now, talk about you guys' relationship. Every time I see you out, he's with you. If he's out, you with you. You with him. I mean, just talk about that camaraderie and you know um, having a you know a crazy legendary one of the greatest producers of all time. Being yeah. you know, one of your compadres man, down the road. I ain't even gonna hold you, man. My boy been around. I can honestly say he been around probably a year after I got with Jen now. So he's been around from for jump. a minute now. Yeah, yeah, that's my big brother. I, I got a few big brothers in this game now. Cause I used to tell them, like, I ain't, I ain't got no big brothers in this. Ain't nothing. Like, yeah. 26 years old, ain't no big brothers in this. I got a few big brothers in this game. The Sunday Digital is definitely one of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the realest, if you ask me, man, for yeah. real. Like, real solid stand up, genuine dude. Yeah. He ain't done nothing for me except ever since he met me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Opened me up to his whole studio, everything. Even when I kept trying to pay, even, it got to a point he got mad. At me because really? I kept asking like, "Hey, bro, I see what you do for everybody else. Let me." He like, in. bro, no. Like, I need you to you, you next. I need you to do this. It was times he was coming at me telling me like, "Hey, you need to tighten up. Like, you got to get back in there." Like, Real deal, like advice. Yeah, like this song ain't it. This song ain't it. And I and I just now got on the song with Sonny. Sonny been on me almost two and a half years now. Y'all just just got literally on. just got on the song with him. Crazy. Just got him on one of my songs. Still ain't got on his beat. Brick by brick. Brick by brick. That's the hashtag, man. Mandatory. So, with Well said, you know, I saw Willie Joe post it. Is there, should there be a tour coming soon? Yes, I mean, it is. Dude, you got the type of album where, you you know, your fans can know it word for word, bar mm. for bar. Yes. No soldier Boy. Should there be a tour coming soon? Yes, there is a tour coming soon. I cannot wait. They've been asking for this for almost mm. two years. Can you tease any dates or any, you know, special guests? Um, any, any exclusives? I actually, I actually can. I actually can. Uh -oh. I'm going to pop out. I'm going to have my boy Kalen for real, for real, pop out. Shout out, Kalen. Funk Fletcher drops. We playing Funk Fletcher drops. Mandatory, right mandatory. Who else I'm going to have pop out? Oh, we got Kalen. Oh, we got Kalen. He going to pop out. There's plenty more. I'm yeah. just it. We're going to Kalen. Sadie Henderson Friends. Yeah, Sadie yeah. Henderson Friends. Yeah, Sadie Henderson friends for show. Sure. So before sure. you get out of here, any shout outs, man? Where can they find the tape? Where can they follow you? Man? Oh, yeah, man. Shout mm -hmm. out the whole generation now. Shout out my engineers. Shout out everybody who helped. Executive producers, the whole label. Shout out Duval, County 904, Tanisha, Sakai, Nastasia, Zion, okay. Isaiah, Jacoby. You feel okay. me? I know it is. You feel me? Shout out the whole 904. You feel me? Shout out the East Side ID. Yeah. Shout out the South Side Arlington, Justine, the, the 21st of 1200, if you ask me, got that. Yeah, whole, whole gang. Yeah, hey, man, man. make sure you guys go check out. Well said right now, of course. It's me. Free Hot Boy. Free Hot Boy, too, man. Just like that. Be back with another one. Make sure you guys like the video too and subscribe to the channel. Gang, gang.